Anna has a couple friends coming over after school today. So we have some cake mix, some super cute springtime cupcake liners, this fun thing of sprinkles. That one has like little bunnies in it. Where's bunnies? That Where's one has bunnies? Easter eggs. Where's bunnies? Want to see the bunnies? They're in the sprinkles right there. And there's Easter eggs in that one. No, it's glass. Yeah, with eggs in it, huh? The girls are going to make cupcakes. And me too. And they're going to frost cookies and decorate cookies. Anna's going to have lots of fun with her friends, huh? Yeah, one, two, three. Two friends. Yeah, two friends. Yeah, Anna's bringing two friends over. Can you show me what you're building in the living room? You going to take a cookie? Yeah. Okay, Walter, you want a cookie? I know. You don't like sweets. You're my odd child that doesn't eat snacky sweets. Look at this city Lukers is building. Did you build that, Luke? Mm -hmm. All by yourself? You got a police station and a toll booth. Yeah, there's a police station and a toll booth and a train station. Lots of road. Good job. High five. Good job. A funny cat. Is that from the funny cat? Did you make that? It's upside down. Is that Luke's hand? Yeah, that's upside down. That was me, 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 me. Did you make that today with teacher Katie? Hi. I am I am hi. Ho. Ha. Did you make that with teacher Katie today? Ha ha. You. Yay. Hey, yeah. Dinner tonight. We have a vegetable blend and some white beans, chunks of steak, and a tomato based soup. Yummy. I wish the crock pot could let you guys smell through the TV because it smells so good. So that's what I made for dinner tonight. Hi, friends. I want to show you how we fit four boys in one bedroom. As you can see, it's a fairly small bedroom, but we fit him in here. So our oldest sleeps up here. He's 12. The two-year-old sleeps down here. And then on this bunk bed, we have our four-year-old and our five-year-old up top. So that's where the boys sleep. And you can see from this angle, there's the door in. They have a little bookshelf. The four beds. And then how we store all their clothes is just one dresser with cubby holes up top. And we have, we are the dairy farming family. So we have clothes specifically for the farm. So we have our oldest. And then the baby up here, because he can't reach and then the four-year-old and then the five-year-old keep their barn clothes in there. Their long underwear, their, you know, whatever they wear specifically for the barn goes in those. The drawers across here, we have the baby has all three across the top, the four-year-old's in the middle, and across the bottom here we have the five-year-old. Pants are all on this side. So if you open it up, you have all of their baby's pants and so on. Socks and underwear are in the middles. And then pajamas. And how we do pajamas is we fold them. So if you pull out a grouping, you have the shirt and inside you have the pants. And then they can just pick whatever pajamas they want. And everybody's drawers are done that way. In the closet, we have all of these cubbies here for toys, for like Legos or other little toys. 
We have a bar here for our oldest. This bar here is for the six-year-old, or five-year-old, sorry, he's almost six. And then up here right now we have a divider right there in the middle. Sorry, the string's in the way. A divider in the middle and the baby on the left. And the four-year-old on the right. Our oldest socks and underwear go in the cubbies above on that shelf. And then over here, right now we have sweatshirts and jackets that there's not quite enough room in here to hang. And then all of their socks because they're all wearing the same size socks. And so I've just thrown them in there instead of having to check drawers for socks. And then we're going to put a bar across there to separate that out. So then there will be four hanging spots for the four boys. These bins are just from the dollar store. And that's how we have four boys organized in one bedroom. You can see these tiles are, well there's my foot, it kind of gives you an idea. It's just a walk space in between the two beds. And they're offset so the boys can play in here. There is room for that. And then we have this wooden drawer here my father-in-law made. He's working on making one for all the boys to be able to pull out a drawer to have all their toys under the beds. But that is how we have four boys in one bedroom.